before we go any further ahead, there's something I want to say. So, yesterday when we did the ceremony practice, when we got to the point where we were signing, we didn't call up Connor and Hillary. And that's because when we get to that part, I would like you to come sign for me. For four years I've stood by you, watching as you have triumphed with grace and taken failure in stride. I've had the pleasure to love you in every season of your life throughout this journey, and I know there is nothing set before us that we cannot overcome. Today is the culmination of these past four years and the beginning of something greater. The days may be long, but the years are short. Let's make this lifetime together count. I love you. has given me a friendship you only see in movies or read about in fairy tales. As your friend over these last four years, it's been an absolute privilege to watch you allow yourself fall fully in love with such an amazing man who puts you first and will continue to meet you at your crazy, your stupid, and your love. Now, as they embark on their journey starting out today, as we'll call it day zero, you have a lot to live up to. Your parents, Kendra, us, we just celebrated our 30th anniversary this past July. Your grandparents this coming November will be celebrating their 60th. And Braden's parents, if memory serves me correct, this past May was their 27th. May the road rise to meet you. And may the wind be always at your back. And may the sunshine warm upon your face. May the light of your friendship guide their paths together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. May the joy of living for each. Cheers. Holy shit. <laughs> That's so nice. Don't cry. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. I have good taste. You do. I, Brayden, choose you, Kendra, to be my wife. I, Kendra, choose you, Brayden, to be my husband. 